Welcome back CSE 3200 Yukon Stores. Uh, we just finished our first application, GeoQuiz, in the text that was chapters one through eight. And in this video series and in class, we covered chapters one through four and seven. So we covered five of those eight chapters. The second application that we are going to tackle is going to be criminal intent. It is a little bit meatier than the first application. In fact, it is the largest application that we're gonna code in the entire book. This one covers 11 chapters from chapter 9 through 19, and my current plan is to cover all of those but the last two. The idea of the application, well, it's a little bit silly, but so is GeoQuiz at its heart. I mean, it does, it's not really something you want to publish, it's more for learning. But the idea is that we have this application that allows us to sleuth. So we can go around our office and take pictures of crimes crimes. Um, those crimes might be something like leaving dirty dishes in the sink or using the microwave to cook fish or something like that. Um, so we can give a description of the crime, have a whole list of crimes, say whether they're solved or not. We'll be dealing with uh, views that, um, that we hadn't dealt with before in GeoQuiz, like a checkbox and, um, and what else, uh, like an edit view. So we can have a text view that we can uh, type text into. So some new stuff there. You see this word fragments up here. That is a pretty big idea. Uh, and we're going to start with that. All right. So our objectives for this chapter, we're going to begin our second app, Criminal Intent. We'll get there in this video, but only at the very end. Most of the video is going to be setting up what are fragments. We'll then create a data class and create and host a fragment. All right, now before we get there, I'd like to talk about the need for user interface flexibility. In GeoQuiz, it was more like this here, where we had two different screens and those screens were run by an activity. One activity is in control of one screen. Uh, this might have acted like our main activity, and this might have acted like our cheat activity. So uh, Criminal Intent is a list detail app. That means that we're going to have like um, a, a bunch of different things we could choose from in the list. We'll uh, actually be able to click on an item in the list, and then we'll get uh, an, like an inflated view of, of more granulated detail about that item. So anyhow, we could have something like that, but even in GeoQuiz, you probably would agree that it was a little bit clunky going back and forth between the, um, between the two different screens, between the main screen where you answered questions and where you were potentially going to cheat. Um, so maybe it could look something like this over here, or could have looked something like this, uh, where we would have um, the buttons you know, all kind of crammed together and we could have you know, brought the cheat up off to the side. Well, we didn't do that, but we could have. Uh, it's a little bit more complicated to do that. We've saved it until now. So maybe we want to do that with our list and detail. Maybe our list can be read by only seeing the first 10 or so characters. I don't know. Uh, but also consider something like way over on the other side. What if this was a tablet and the tablet was much larger so you could fit the entire view of the list and the entire view of the detail on one screen? I believe that fragments were created when they brought out tablets for the first time so that we could have more user interface flexibility. All right, so that brings us to what is a fragment. All right, so you can make your, your apps more user interface flexible by moving the interface management from the, um, the, the activity to the fragments themselves. So the fragment is basically going to um, have its own layout file. And uh, instead of containing the, the user interface, the activity is just going to act like the container for that fragment. So we could put many fragments into that container and, um, and have them all doing their own thing. In our picture, we had two, two fragments, the list and the detail. So that's where we're going with this application. Um, so in this, in this activity, we're going to host just a single fragment, but we're, we'll, we can do more. Okay, so uh, fragments are designed to hold reusable chunks of user interface. Uh, so just imagine that the list stays kind of the way it is, but you know, I click on item one and then the detail view for item one shows up. I click on item two and the details for item one, they go away, but 
item um, item two comes up and I can keep going back. So we basically can um, compose and recompose these fragments at will. And so there's really no need for like a, um, a death in the life cycle. So that is quite useful. So our, our new picture of what our application is going to look like might look a little bit like this. Um, and I know I've got a bigger picture here. We're not going to be coding a tablet, but we're going to have both of these on our screen. Uh, so we will have a view of a list fragment, and right beside it, we're going to have a view of a detail fragment, or we can bring that detail fragment up when clicking on the list fragment. Okay. Um, so here's kind of like the interaction between the classes. Now we still are going to have our main activity, but it is, um, its purpose is mainly to act as a container to manage the fragments. The fragments are going to do most of the work. Associated with the main activity, we still have its layout manager, activity main XML. We are going to create a fragment crime detail layout manager with a .xml extension. Uh, we're going to actually create that um, in the last application we brought in one other layout file but we didn't like explicitly create it it was created through the wizard when we created a new activity but we are actually going to create that one explicitly so that'll be that'll be new and so that layout manager is going to be associated with this fragment and anything that uh, would change over in uh, one will signal to the other so our uh, um, our layout manager, our user interface are going to be connected. Uh, you see some, some methods here that you haven't seen before. Uh, on text change is going to be for our um, edit view. So when, if we type into a field, uh, any, any changes will signal, because we were listening for it, that we need to make a change. Uh, and this one is going to be for our checkbox. At first, we're, when we start off with a button that we have, it's going to be disabled. All right, so let's get to creating our class and then we'll wrap this video up. So we're going to go File, New, New Project. And as always, we're picking an empty activity. And we're going to call it Criminal Intent. And the package name is going to be the, our standard com.bignerdranch.android.criminalintent. And we'll click Finish. And we have our new project. OK, so that's where we are going to call it on video one. Um, so I did say that we were going to create it, but we are is going to be at the very end after talking about what is a fragment. It's a very big idea for this chapter. So I will see you in the next video.